I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Random Pulls because we're going to pull 13 or 14 random tiles to mimic a dealt hand and then practice identifying the strength in those tiles. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice to determine which player we are. I rolled a three. That means we're going to be in West Seat, player three. Non-dealer, I'll get 13 tiles. We have flowers, a, a green dragon. Then we have bams, including a pair. We have one dot, four cracks, singles. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the sevens and the flowers, probably play odds. So I would discard the four, five, seven, nine, pair of sevens. I think I would keep big odds. Not sure if we could use the green dragon or not. I think I would probably pass those first, hold five, seven, nine, big odds. If we happen to get eights, we could maybe switch from big odds to consecutive run seven, eight, nine. And if we get an eight bam, we might even be able to use that dragon. So big odds may be consecutive if we get eights. I rolled a four for the next one. We're going to be player four this time. And that is non-dealer. We have a joker, a dragon, almost news, pair of ones, four, six, eight, cracks, five cracks. Here we have two bams and a three dot. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If I were playing this hand, I think I would maybe play a year hand. I would probably keep this dragon in case we get consecutive numbers. And I think I would even keep the four, six, eight, because we could maybe play two, four, six, eight. We do have four and four. We could play east and west with fours. We have a two, three, two, four, six, eight potential, year potential, east and west with fours, slight potential. I think I would pass those. Focus on either a year hand or two, four, six, eight with dragons. That particular hand is the fifth hand down under evens. We do have a gap, no two, and that's a pair that we would need. So that is a weakness. If we were to go with a year hand, obviously we have twos, nines, and white dragons that we would need. So there are gaps all the way around. But that's, I think, where I would start. I would play either a year hand or two, four, six, eight in one suit. I forgot to roll the dice. 
I rolled a nine. That would be player one. The jokers are a one. We have a joker, a south, white and green dragon. Here we have cracks with a pong of fours. Here we have dots with a pair and then a one and a nine in bams. If this were your dealt hand, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If I were playing this hand, I would focus around the fours. Start here. So looking at the rest of the tiles, I would think about which category I could play that would use the most of my tiles. And I think either like numbers or consecutive run would be those two categories to start. So I would hold the dragons, the four, and then the consecutive numbers around the four crack, two and three. Discard these, probably those three. So we could play like numbers with fours and dragons concealed, or we could play one, two, three, four, consecutive run number two, mixed suits. we get a three bam and flowers we could do two three four mixed suit kongs that would be third hand down so I would stay flexible but build around the four either like numbers with fours and dragons or two three four consecutive run if you are new to the game figuring out what to do with those random tiles can be challenging but if you train yourself to identify the strength in the dealt hand and start there, come up with three tiles to pass and then just take it pass by pass until it's clear what to play. And that would be either a category or maybe even a hand. I have some videos that can help in this process. Look in the video description below and study those strategies. Practice at home if you have a set of tiles. If you don't have a set of tiles, there is a link in the video description below so that you can get one that I highly recommend. Practice and play often. That will help you gain confidence in identifying the strength in your dealt hand because that's the first step to picking a hand. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.